Are you looking to purchase new construction in the state of Florida? Well, today I wanna to give some insight on why it's important to get a home inspection before you close on your new home. To introduce myself, my name is Troy Funk, and it's Funk, F-U-N-K, Fun K. I'm a licensed real estate broker in the state of Florida. I've been in the real estate business going on 40 years. I'm the broker owner of Realty One Group Skyline on the central west coast of Florida. And my focus is to give you value today. And if I give you value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber, follow my videos so I can help you on your journey if you're looking to move to Florida. So today we're gonna talk about new construction and why it's important to get a home inspection. Now, I think of probably all the homes that I've personally purchased and one in particular, I have some regrets, I would say. I purchased a new home or I had a house built and it wasn't built very well. We lived in that home and I saw these defects along the way. And just because you're buying a new home doesn't mean you're getting a good home. It made me realize that when you purchase a new home, it's imperative to get a home inspection. And I believe so much in that, that I'm, the house behind me is a home I'm representing a buyer on and we're going we're doing our home inspection today and I'm paying for the inspection just because I want to make sure that buyer is getting a good opportunity here I'm going to show you what this looks like with getting a home inspection on new construction in the state of Florida so I'm going to take you through this property I asked the inspector if he didn't mind being filmed and he said yes I do mind I don't want you to film me doing a home inspection but I'm going to get the report I know what the report says at this point and I want to talk about what they found in the inspection today so I'm gonna walk through the property real quick and give you the insight of what could be wrong with a brand new house now this home we're set to close on this in about a week the buyer lives out of state and they relied a lot on my help because I am their real estate agent and that's common here in Florida we have so many people moving to Florida and they entrust their real estate agent to help them they're the liaison between them and the builder the builder represents the builder right so the buyer needs representation i told the buyer look florida we have so much new construction happening we're not seeing the best of quality i'm concerned i if you're not going to pay for the inspection i will I'll take it out of my commission because it's that critical to have a home inspection before you purchase a property so we're walking in the property and full disclosure, I'm not a contractor, I'm not a builder, I'm a broker, I'm a real estate broker, I represent buyers and sellers. So what's some of the things you're gonna find? Now, this term, it's kind of funny and interesting, the inspector called it construction tolerance. And what's constru construction tolerance? When you build a new home, there are certain things that they are what they are, they're not gonna be fixed, it is, it's just tolerance. You're gonna to have to accept it for the way it is. Now, every builder is different, but not only is every builder different, every builder has different areas or different, different areas have different superintendents, different vendors, different people. So even though you're building a home with one builder, the quality of that house can be very different in a, very, in a different subdivision as the case with this one. Now, I think we got very lucky on this home. I have uh, spoken with the superintendent throughout the duration of this home. I'm very impressed with this and the, he's he's on it and there's a lot of good things and I, I want to focus on that because when you're building a home you don't want to major in the minors you want to focus on am I getting a, a good home and here are the things that are an absolute good thing with this house now this house has a very good elevation when you look at how high it is from the road across the street there's a retention they in Florida we call them lakes but the reality is it's a retention pond that's where if there's a lot of water where's that water gonna go it's gonna go in the lake now that's across the street but it's considerably it's lower than this so this house has a good elevation to me that's absolutely critical it's critical because there's that question do I need flood insurance of course you got to talk to your insurance person talk to the expert this is an opinion but when you're building a home you want that's number one you want to make sure that you're gonna get a good elevation home. And another aspect to this house is this is a two-story home. And as a two-story home, this was has construction. It's a block home on both first and second floor. And that's not always the case in Florida. You're seeing a lot of builders build second floors out of wood. Wood construction homes in Florida, not a contractor, not a good idea. Why? Because we're in the tropics. 
Being in the tropics, just think about it. A wood home, what happens? Well, we do have bugs, we get weather, and it, it doesn't weather well. And we, we see that even a year, two years out after a home is built. If it's a wood house or it's built of wood, you're gonna have problems. What kind of problems? You could have mold. So that's a, that's a big issue is when you're building a home, focus, I, you know, I look at, don't major in the minors, major in the majors. Majors, good elevation, this is a block home. That. Now I'm gonna take my sunglasses off and, and turn this camera around and just kind of show, walk through here and just, just share what I was made aware of as the inspector was in the house. So let me turn my camera around here. So as I walk to the property, you can see that on this floor, plan that there is tile throughout all the wet areas of the house. Wet areas referring to the kitchen, the bathroom, areas that are going to most likely get wet. And the first floor is tile and it's done very well. It's a nice color. Now, this is an issue when we're talking about majors and minors, when you're looking at construction and what's a major and what's a minor. Well, of course, cosmetics are minors. Those are things that can be taken care of. And we're a week away from closing and I'll tell you, <laughs> There's a lot of minors to be taken care of right now, but I look at them as minors. These are things that need to be done, should be done before the new homeowner moves in. Timing on this is good. So as I said, I paid for the home inspection. We have the inspection done today. This inspection is gonna show a punch out list of all the things that are not complete with this property. As we close in about a week, what does that look like? So we have, we're gonna have that list Preferably today, gonna to give that list right to the builder and say, okay, we're closing in a week. These are things that we see right now that we want punched out. These are the punch out lists. This is from the home inspection. Now let's just say we didn't have a home inspection done. We go to close and we walk out and we see a punch out list at that point and the builder says, you got two days to close. We're giving the builder a punch out list sooner than later. It's a list of a lot of minors. So I'm gonna go through this house and just talk about what are issues that you find now the house is neat it's again it's about a week away so not everything's done biggest thing in florida the ac is not hooked up right now it's hot out inspector was a little frustrated with that because he said at this point the air should be on in this home and if this house stays too long without air on you're going to start seeing the drywall separate in areas the, the the moisture so his first thing was get the air on get this the get this plugged in so miners, let's just look around this. You can see this hasn't been cocked up. You're gonna see the Mars walk, the walls marked where there are issues as you go through here. I'm not a contractor, but there's obvious, there's obvious things, but there's also notes. So a week out, these are punch out things that are noted that need to be done. Now this house is a DR Horton home. And if you look up DR Horton, not everything is positive. And why is that? Well, DR Horton, they're a production builder. And one of the challenges with that is, well, the plus side is you're getting a home at, a, at an entry level price point, but it's not a custom home. And what I mean by that is the buyer did not get the choice of even the tile or the, the kitchen cabinets on their coloring. The builder had already picked those out before the house was built. Now, when you are bu buying a builder home, and you're gonna get whatever they give you. <laughs> not saying Whirlpool's not a top of the line, but as far as price point, I know this is not top of the line, and this is, this is entry level building. Now, when I talk about majors and minors, if I was building a home and I had a choice of having a two-story block home with the least expensive dishwasher and, and finishes that I may not like or some punch out list, or a home that has great finishes, but it's made out of a second floors of wood, I would, I would opt for the, the better built home. DR Horton, entry level builder, they, they're a production builder, they do a lot of things in production. As such, you know, you don't get it their way, your way, you get it their way, but not saying they're not a good builder. I, I, I've had a very good experience with this superintendent walking through him. There are a lot of issues though that need to be addressed as we walk through the property. And the nice thing is, they're on it, they know. You know, you can see the, the, the issues that are happening. The AC wasn't hooked up and it needs to be hooked up and it needs, the house needs to be air conditioned and it can't stay this hot, this humid too long because it will have an impact on the overall condition of the house. The thing is this carpet, you know, I, I would guarantee this is builder grade, cheap, cheap carpet. And it's very common, people build a, a new house they come in, they didn't want carpet, they wanted a wood floor. And the builder says, we're not gonna put in a wood floor. 
So buyer after closing comes in, brand new carpet gets ripped out, buyer gets what they want. If they got the home at the price they want, just understand the cosmetics may be an issue. Now, if you're paying for a custom home and you're paying more, where of course your standard should be higher. This wall has to be repainted. You can see there's baseboards missing. And when we walk into the master bath, the door's not on, the shower's not caught completely. It needs some final punch outs. And I'm, I'm grateful that we're gonna have a punch out list now because as soon as I give that, I'm gonna give that to the builder and say, buyer is gonna be in town next week to close. Start working on this. We, we have a punch out list of things that we like. And again, he's going to see that now before closing. Not getting a home inspection and not having that punch out list a week before closing, I think it's just foolish because it's normal. The house is not quite finished, it's close, but we wanna make sure that we're there. <clears throat> the sale closed a couple days ago and not without some challenges. And those challenges were primarily because of the home inspection report. The home inspection report revealed many items of the home. As such, the builder did meet with the buyer and myself prior to closing to explain what was going to be done. And then the day of closing to see what was done. Now the day of closing, there were some items that were not done. The buyer was not happy with and it got down to dialogue. <laughs> I got very much involved in that process. And in the end, uh, we had a solution that everyone worked with. Now, this is challenging if a buyer works directly with the builder. They don't have that person to help them in their court, so to speak, resolve issues. Now, my goal was to make sure that the buyer was uh, treated fairly in this regard and got what they wanted. Now, I could show the buyer many properties, and we do. When we represent buyers, our, go our goal is to help them facilitate and find what they're looking for, but also advise them wisely, such as it's very important to get a home inspection report done prior to closing. This set the stage, and in the end, the buyer got what they wanted. Now, I got what I wanted too. Now, I'm not talking about my commission check. I'm talking about that five-star review, and thank you, Mr. and Mrs. Baker, for that, because now, not only did I make a few dollars in the process, I also made some friends and friends for life. And this is something that is so powerful for me. And this is why I've been in this business going on 40 years. I, I, I got into it right out of high school and I just never left. <laughs> As such, I am the broker, owner broker of Realty One Group Skyline on the central west coast of Florida. Today, our office is selling properties all over the state of Florida. Real estate has become an internet business. We have a big sale in Naples that's closing in a couple weeks and I have a really beautiful home in Ocala. And Ocala is well known for a celebrity that lives in this area. Anyway, so this is a, this is a fun business. You have a lot of fun with this business and we're looking for agents that also wanna have fun and make money. Now, the sky is your limit on how much you can make in real estate. So if you have a real estate license or you're gonna get licensed, we wanna talk. Now, if you're a buyer or you're a seller, check out my website, troyfunk.com. If you're looking for a new home, my website has a link that will provide you with options of new homes all over the state of Florida. So you can start looking at new homes right now. You can look at their floor plans, you can look up their options, price points throughout the state from my website, Troy Funk, in addition to looking at resale property. And if you have that real estate license and you're looking to join a brokerage, uh, the sky is your limit and I would hope to uh, hear from you at that point. So in closing, I am Troy Funk. If I've been helpful to you, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you on my next one as well. Thank you.